Hello. Morning. We've been brave. <laughs> We've headed to the big smoke. <laughs> We're in London. We had no plans for today, so we just thought, huh, oh, should we go to London? Yes, that would be a good idea. What should we do? Don't know. So, <laughs> we decided to let AI decide what we're going to do today. To see if artificial intelligence is better than our own. Probably Debatable. <laughs> so last night, what we did, we went to ChatGTP and I asked it to plan a Saturday day trip in central London, including only hidden gems. Let's find out how gemful they are, shall we? Yes. Wish us luck. First, to the underground. Underground. chip on the underground we were at Holborn station and for the rest of the day we'd asked chat GPT to plan a route that we could do on foot and then within a few minutes London goes quiet and you get green it's nice isn't it I love all the green spaces welcome to Lincoln's Inn Fields so thing number one when we asked Jack T GTP what to do, it said, I've got my piece of paper. Oh, hello, pigeon. Hi. <laughs> Why did the pigeon cross the road? Because <laughs> the enemy was coming in the way. Hey, hello, pigeon. Anyway, I was saying, it says, number one, visit the Hunterian Museum. Uh, head to the Royal College of Surgeons to explore the Hunterian Museum. This fascinating museum houses collections of anatomical specimens, surgical instruments, and medical history artifacts. It's a hidden gem, so tick, for those interested in the history of medicine and anatomy. So we're five minutes away from the tube station, and we're nearly there. Hello, big crow. So we're going to go into the museum before we're attacked by crows. Got two tickets, yeah. Done. Oh. Goodbye, belongings. So a box of eyes and an early pair of those joke specs. <laughs> what does it say? A prosthetic nose worn by a woman whose nose nose was destroyed by syphilis in the mid 1800s. Nice. Well, there we go. Hmm. Who's that? Oh, that? Oh, we've just seen the brain of an Asian elephant. That is the skull of an Asian e elephant. Wow. <coughs> That's a Cape buffalo. Gosh. What's that, his handbag? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Number 27. That is a torpedo or an electric ray. Gosh. And there's the man himself. Hooray. 
<laughs> yes. It's quite a collection, isn't it? Isn't it? Yikes. Sea slug, anyone? That looks tasty. No, no. So it's him. Oh. Or her. Stick insect. Amazing. And of course, no trip to a museum is complete without visiting the gift shop. Now to try and reclaim my luggage. There we go. Phew. Just needed a moment. What do you think of that? Fascinating. Certainly was a hidden gem. Yes. I'd heard of it, but I'd never even thought of it no. coming. We'd never have come without that... being prompted, would we? No. It's fascinating. Really interesting. Not yeah. certainly not everyone's cup of tea. No. Um, given the nature of what it is, I'm sure you can imagine there's some very interesting things to see, but really fascinating. Yes, there are some things that we have seen that we will not be including <laughs> in the video. <laughs> but yeah, really fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. AI, that will do. So item number two, we're going to take a walk along the Thames path. And see some of the sights of London. We're walking down Kingsway. And lo and behold, up in front of us, we've got Bush House. Which I think, and I, mm, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, used to be the home of the BBC World Service. I think. It certainly says, to the friendship of English-speaking peoples over the top. That would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. It's lovely to find a pedestrianised place in the middle of London. How smashing. We're just outside Somerset House. I'd love to go inside here. But it's not on the list. So it's a reason to come back another day. Isn't this amazing? We've just seen a, a little bus go through and these are the bollards. They're like little Daleks. I love it. When I saw it drive up to them, I thought, where are they going to go? Ta-da! Cute. We're on Waterloo Bridge. What a view. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Yep. Some of these gems are less uh, hidden. <laughs> I think these are just added extras. They're, oh, like, okay. they're like sparkles on the top. Oh, it's a lovely day, isn't it? It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just nice. Yeah. Hooray. So if you are visiting London, the South Bank's definitely worth exploring. Do you fancy some books? Gabriel's Wharf. It's been a lovely walk along the Thames Path. Some amazing sights. Just over there we've got St Paul's. Another place not on our list today and hardly a hidden gem. <laughs> yeah, it's been a nice walk, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's go and have a little look at Gabriel's Wharf and see what it has to offer. So AI has brought us here. It says Gabriel's Wharf 
is a hidden gem featuring independent shops, cafes and art galleries. I love the windows that have been painted yeah. on. That's fun. These are cool shops. <gasps> Vendula, I love Vendula. <gasps> Sounds expensive. Mm, yeah, slightly, but very cute. Very me, you'll see why. The sun's come out. It's lovely. We're going to have to get my sunglasses out in a minute. We can hit the beach. <laughs> Gabriel's Wharf, tick. Tick. This is nice, isn't it? It's got a really quirky shop, isn't yes. it? Really nice. Didn't buy anything, but but lots of things that I very could have easily bought. <laughs> Quite a few places to eat as well. Yeah, smelt nice. But food is next on our list. Yes, which is difficult when you're hungry and you have to walk away from the food. Yeah, yeah not ideal. Let's walk fast. Okay. We're not running. <laughs> We've actually been to Gabriel's Wharf before, haven't we? A while ago. A very long while ago. It's where we met for a very early cup of tea, very, very early in our relationship, wasn't it? Yes. I mean, you were still living in London. I think I had coffee. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I was too busy looking at your face. Yeah, I had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so we're following the river. So apologies if it's windy. Again, well worth a visit, but not today. Southern Bridge. I'm going to go up the stairs and keep walking. Stop number three on our list was lunch, and for that, AI had brought us to Flat Iron Square. And here we are. Mm, apparently, it's London's home of sport. That sounds like us. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, let's go see. And we're here. Wow. It's very dinky. I'd never have known about this. I'd never spotted it before. So I think there's three places to eat and a bar. Hey, yeah. Can I get one classic dog, one wicked dog, and a portion of regular fries? And here is our lovely, healthy lunch. Yum, yum. It was very good. It's very good. We brought the average age up. Yes. We... It, yes. It's definitely 20s and 30s and bright yeah. young things, isn't it? But we tend to bring the average age up a most, more places. Than most places these days. Yeah, yeah very so. Uh, <laughs> it was very nice. Yeah. So well done. AI. Yeah. Tech. So far, so good. Yeah. The Cordwainer. You are in the ward of Cordwainer, which in medieval times was the centre of shoemaking in the city of London. Oh, there, we go. Oh, there you go. 
So what's next? Next. Number four, pot pickers. <laughs> so we're shaking down our, our lunch. We're going to explore Postman's Park. There we go. Ah. Discover the tranquil oasis of Postman's Park, hidden beside St. Bottles Church near St. Paul's Cathedral. I think I can see that. I think we know where that is. I can see that one. This charming park is known for its poignant memorial to heroic self-sacrifice. Ah, oh, commemorating ordinary people who died while saving others. This does feel like a hidden gem. It does. Let's go see. Oh, this is a quiet little place, isn't wow. it? Oh, wow. This really is a hidden gem. Well done, AI. You're doing a grand job. Oh, look at this. I did not expect to see some koi carp in the middle of London. In commemoration of heroic self-sacrifice, 1899. That was fascinating. Fascinating. Really I, like I'd never heard of it. No. Utterly wonderful. Really, really fascinating. Gosh. Thank you, AI. You're doing awfully well. So far, so good. Finding this slightly scary that it's doing so well. Hmm. <laughs> On to the next one. Before we get wet. Tell the good people where we're off to next. Well, we're kind of, we've done a massive loop. We're actually heading back to somewhere we've already been, which was Lincoln's Inn Fields, which is where we started with the Hunterian Museum. Yes. But we're not going back there. No. Oh, no. We are going to Sir John Soane's Museum. Shall I tell mm -hmm. you what AI says? Delve into the eclectic world of Sir John Soane's Museum, located in a historic townhouse near Lincoln's Inn Fields. This hidden gem, see what they've done there, houses Soane's vast collection of art, antiquities and architectural curiosities displayed in a uniquely preserved 19th century setting. Well, there we go. And neither of us have Literally, ever been. Literally, there we go. Yes, we do. Back at the park. And there we are. It may be a hidden gem. But it's popular. Enjoying a sit down. Very much. Good. I'm a bit tired now. Yes. <laughs> but we're having a lovely day. We've just come out of Sir John Soane's Museum. A bonkers house. Absolutely bonkers. Fascinating. Really fascinating. Really, really quite crackers. Um, now, in, we weren't allowed to take the GoPro in. Um, they're slightly worried about you waving your arms around and knocking over yes. valuable bits of artwork. Um, so, apologies for the photos and videos that have only just come off my phone. <laughs> so, they're a bit scratchy but um i hope they gave you a taster of how amazing it was on the last leg of our trip yeah our last hidden gem mm. though this one isn't quite so much of a hidden gem for me because i've been here before but uh, we're going to have a little walk and we're going to go for a drink at gordon's wine bar and you've been wanting to take me there for frankly as long as you've known me haven't you pretty much yeah never happened no. so thank you ai let's it's hope it's me. open oh no The world looks very strange upside down. It's called the world turned upside down. Ah, I see what they've done there. Oh, 
here at Charing Cross, around the corner. We're nearly at our final destination. Now we found the queue. Oh joy. Thank you. It's pretty dark in here. I'm not sure how much you can see, but it's utterly brilliant. Oh, we have wine. Daylight. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to London. <laughs> so that was lovely, wasn't it? What a lovely day. I know, it's been amazing. Thanks, AI. AI's been amazing. <laughs> it's been very successful. However, AI did not suggest where to go for dinner. No, it didn't. <laughs> so um, we have gone to the hidden gem that is Bella Italia. So um, we're going to go and have some pizza because, <laughs> you know, that's what you do. Yum. Yum. So thanks for coming with us. We've had a lovely day now. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And that was our day out of hidden gems in London, as suggested by ChatGPT. And you know what? AI provided us with a really great day out. Here's a list of the places that it took us, and there's links and more information in the video description below. If you've liked our adventure, then give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and subscribe. It really helps us with the channel, and we really appreciate it. In the meantime, we wish you happy travels and we'll see you in the next one.